Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a travel agency website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix Website Builder is it is beginner friendly and you can also get started for free. The first thing you will need to do once on Wix.com, you can create an account using your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. Once you have created your account, you are going to select create new site. After selecting create new site, what I want you to do next is tap on create on Wix editor. After selecting create on Wix editor, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, I want you to tap on set up without AI as this will give you more customizing option by tapping on set up without AI. And since we are creating a travel agency website, we will simply type it in right here, select travel agency, then tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to your Wix dashboard. On the Wix dashboard, I will be showing you how to add your website or your business name and also how to set up payments and booking and a lot more features that are easily accessible on Wix, which is why I recommend that you give Wix a try. So the first thing you're going to be doing is adding your business name right here. So I can add in my business name. Then you could add in your business address. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next then you can add in your opening hours so let's say we are open from monday to friday and our opening hours is from 8 a.m to 2 p.m so we'll select 8 a.m then from there you can select 2 p.m after doing that you can tap on next in the bottom right hand corner then you can see some services that a typical travel agency would offer so for example, we can get away, reserve your weekend, country experience, and you can scroll down and you can see the different services right there, airport shuttle pickup, and so on. So we'll be offering free packing estimate also. And if you would like to add services that you do not see offered right here, you could tap on create new service at the bottom of the page. After you have done that, you could add the service name and you can also tap on save to save the changes. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can add your staff member's name and email address. Then tap on next once more. Then will you be accepting payments online? If you will be, you can simply tick the box and we'll be accepting payments in person also. Then you can also send automated emails and SMS reminders using Wix, so you could tick this box also. Then tap on next, then tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I'll be showing you how to edit the services that you have added. For example, how to set your fee and also how to set the duration of your services. I will also be showing you how to set up the different payment methods that you can offer your clients. So we are on our dashboard right here. First thing I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on booking services. Once you have selected booking services, if you would like to add a new service, you could do that by tapping on add a new service in the top right hand corner. But for now, we are going to simply edit the prices of our services at the moment. So for example, country experience, we can tap on edit. After selecting edit, from here, if you wanted to change the cover image, you can do that by simply removing this image and then upload your own image. You can also edit the name of the service if you want and you can add a quick description. You can also change the duration by tapping on duration right here. Let's say it's for an hour and a half. Then by scrolling down, you can change the price. So let's say, for example, it costs $100. Then 
then tap on save in the top right hand corner and you can do this with all of the services that you want to offer once you are finished editing the services and it is to your liking all you need to do now to do now is scroll down from the left hand menu option and we are now going to set up our billing and payments so you are going to select billing and payments then tap on payments and from here, you're going to tap on Manage Payment Methods. After doing that, you will now be able to connect different payment methods that your clients can use to pay you. For example, Tilopay and PayPal, you could connect your PayPal account right there. If you would like to offer more payment options, you can simply change your business location by tapping on Change. Then from there, you could, for example, type in United States select united states then tap on choose and you will realize that you now have more payment options that you can offer and by scrolling down and selecting see more payment options in the bottom left hand corner you can see triple a which will allow you to collect crypto payments after pay and numerous other payment platforms that you can integrate quickly with wix as you can see right there after you're finished setting up payments i want you to also realize that below booking services that we had edited earlier you have the booking calendar and this is where you'll be able to see the scheduling so you'll see the different days that your clients are have booked and we're going to we're going to tap on set up in the top left hand corner as i'm going to be showing you how to edit how your website looks so you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner then tap on pick a template after you have selected pick a template you can see the different themes that Wix provides you with and with these themes you'll be able to quickly create a professional looking website and I normally pick one of the best matches so for this example I'll tap on edit then after doing that you're going to give it a few seconds while the ai composes your website in the background in the box right here and you could type in some information that you would like to be added to your website then tap on generate site text and the wix ai will compose articles that can be added to your website but for now we'll tap on the x to close the pop-up then you're going to tap on the plus 50 percent in the top right hand corner and at the moment this is how our website looks so you can see it right here now to start editing the website you can simply hover over whatever section you would like to change so let's say the header section then you can tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner and from here if you would like to change the vector image you can do that by tapping on change you can also change the title quite easily and if it is a case that you would like to change the background image right here you can simply tap on the section then from there you could select change and you'll be able to change the background image you can also change the content by simply scrolling down so you could change the title if you want and it is as simple as that to edit any section on your wix website all you have to do is simply hover over the section then from there you will see the option quick edit after selecting quick edit you're going to see a pop-up window appear on the right hand column and you'll be able to change the images change the texts and so on and if it is a case that you would like to add a text or anything to the website that you don't see you can tap on the plus in the top left hand corner which says add elements then you will see all of the other elements that you can add so if it is a case that you'd like to add text, you could select text right here, images, buttons, videos, anything at all that you would like to add to your website, you can find it in the add elements section. And by the way, to view the other pages on your website and edit them, you're going to tap on home in the top left hand corner. Then you can see the pages right here. You can simply select the page that you would like to edit so let's say that page and you will be redirected to the page as you can see right here so this is our services page and also by tapping on the page name in the top left hand corner once more you could select manage pages from the bottom of the drop down menu option 
and if it is a case that you would like to delete a page or hide a page you can tap on the three dots in line with the page name but first you'll need to tap on site menu after selecting site menu you will see all of the pages and as I was saying earlier, you can simply tap on the three dots in line with the page name. Then from there, you could select delete or hide if you would like to remove a page. It is as easy as that. And that's it. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Then you can select publish and you will be provided with a URL. And if it is to your liking, you can upgrade and go on to the paid plan as the paid plan is quite affordable and it is definitely worth it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If it is a case that you have any questions that you would like further assistance with, you can let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to respond in a timely manner.